in my case, going back to the same thing, but uh, saying, I want to be a dancer. I'm passionate about this. Like, I really want to give myself the chance to do this was what eventually also got me out of that because I knew that I needed my, my health. I needed myself to be okay in order to give to the world. So that yeah, was that's, uh, that's a, a tough story. And I, it's good that you brought it up because obviously I would perhaps based just on my conversations, I would say women face that challenge more than men. Even though I face that myself, you know, in the football community, if you're not like extremely fit, you automatically are seen as something else, um, which is not necessarily always the case. What I really want to point out here, maybe bring to attention to some of the people watching or that are going to watch this, um, sometimes we're dealing with our with something in our heads, in our minds, and our first instinct is to categorize it or label it, or we go to see someone and they automatically do that for us and they prescribe pills. And I just want to put my viewpoint on this, and you don't necessarily have to agree, but everyone deals with something. Every single person in this world deals with something. You know, just the examples that you and I gave are, are only a few examples. I can go into the OCDs that I face, and you can probably bring some examples as well, but they're not necessarily cases where they need to be labeled. What has to stand out here is that your mind can get you through anything, 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 you know? And... The importance of this segment and, and people doing things proactively is to strengthen the mind. That's what we're ultimately trying to achieve. Don't play victim. Deal with what you're, you know, making you struggle and get forward past it. Um, so this kind of leads me to ask you my next question, now touching a little bit more on getting through these moments. Before I ask you if you are happy, I would ask you, what does happiness mean to Gabi Carnavale? Happiness to me is moving, making progress towards, I guess, evolution, I would say, or towards like something that has meaning to me. So it's not necessarily getting there, you know, like people sometimes say, I'm going to be happy when I you know, play for this team or perform in 25 different countries. I think it's the process. Like I find, at least for me, a lot of happiness, just doing my dance practice, being in the moment and kind of feeling like that is in a way making me become more and preparing me to give more to the world and to be like a better uh, server in the world in a way. So I think it has to do with progressing towards what you want and that is a little also tied into being present because if you're constantly thinking about what you're going to achieve your mind is way too far in the future and at least for me sometimes that can bring a tiny bit of anxiety a bit of like I'm not doing enough you know it triggers those thoughts again so I try to become like very aware of like hey let's not focus on that right now you're doing a dance practice this is definitely moving you forward. Let's enjoy this. And so I think it's that the process and just enjoying being in the moment. That's a good, that's a good answer to a very tough question because a lot of people wouldn't be able to say anything to that. And I think overall, if we just kind of reflect on what you said, the journey that's getting you to the end, not the end, point, but the journey that's getting you there, the little acknowledgements that you're on the journey and realizing that you're living in the present. So that's appreciation of what you are doing in the now um so that is a state of happiness that continues to get you moving forward until you know whenever it has to be so that's a good way of looking at it so i guess in, in that respect you're a really positive person then yeah i would say i'm a positive person i i feel like i tend to go negative i'm not gonna lie about it like people always meet me and they think i'm super positive i kind of like smile a lot and <laughs> laugh and stuff but um if i were like let alone my mind just kind of goes negative i feel like i really have to be like hey let's come back to you know um appreciating the moment remembering what you're doing right and just like it's a training i think having a positive mindset is a training especially in our culture like in general i think it's not even 
spoken about enough. Everything is just, you know, if you if you watch the news, if you everything is like violence, aggression, like all these negative things. Um, going back to like filtering out those things, you might want to consider not watching so much the news if you do, you know. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's. Um, so I lost my. Uh, no, no, but it's good. It's good. I like what you're saying there about um, how everything is negative, and it's true. You mean with everything going on in the world today? I mean, 2020 hasn't been the best year if we look at it from you know a comparative angle. Um, yeah. And as a as a thing, I'm not gonna say it in person, but as a thing, I really believe in energy. And again, not in a super spiritual way, but I believe in that energy because if you see something negative, you see a negative image, you receive negative energy from someone else. Now that energy is within you and you have, again, a proactive decision to say, how am I going to bring this energy forward? Am I going to convert it into positivity and bring it to someone else or to the world? Or am I going to continue passing it forward till someone deals with it? That sense of responsibility is so important, especially if you want to be, like you said, I like this word, a server to the world. Because that's what we are. We are servers to the world. We are citizens. We are, you know, we are friends. We are brothers. We are cousins. We're this and that. How do you serve other people? Humans are so dependent that we have to realize that we are serving others. I like that point. I like that point. Negative energy and dealing with it. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Going back to what you said about identity, here's going to be a very tough question because it's really, if I, I didn't really show you the question beforehand, but it's something <laughs> that's really tough to grasp. Okay. Carita Gabriela Carnavale is a belly dancer, the but. In the superficial world, you're a belly dancer. Yeah. If I was to ask you, who is the person that lives within Gabriela Carnavale? What would you answer? Well, I am actually very spiritual. So I would say I am a spiritual being. And I am here on earth in this body carrying me. Um, but a spiritual being. I would even like sometimes... Everybody calls that a different name. I, I don't want to go too much into religion, but a lot of people have kind of this idea of a god. I think that is in, in each and every single thing in the world, not even living. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to express this, but not even like a plant, a human, like even the laptop that I'm using. Like there's, in my opinion, there's, an energy that is just connecting all of us together. So that's what I would say. I would say I am a spiritual being and I am here in this body. And part of me, my soul has to evolve into um, a greater kind of version or just go through more learning, go through more evolution. And for me, that process has been so far belly dancing. Again, doesn't mean it will be all my life. Um, and it doesn't mean it's the only process, right? Like there's other, we're all more than one thing, what you are in your career, but then, you know, you're a cousin, you're a friend, you're a partner, you're a daughter, a son. So um, there's so many labels, but I think there's an essence in all of us that is connected, like to something greater. I definitely understand that. I mean, people always will say like, oh, it's man-made or human-made or whoever made something but if you get all the components of a laptop even though they are manufactured they are manufactured here on earth they think of the earth if you break them down they're all individual things so i understand that completely that they're connected to something higher um i guess that, that, that's a good point to um not end it off but kind of close off this segment of what we're dealing with here gabby sh shared some you know some tough things that she's been through you know with the image definitely and some of the the um the more violent acts she's seen in Argentina. So thank you for that. And you mentioned that sometimes you are negative and you always tend to bring yourself back to that positivity. And you said in that little phrase that you laugh at everything. For people watching, Gabby and I grew up together. I used to say the word booger to Gabriela and she died of laughter. I just if you walk in the house, Gabby, you want to laugh? Say, sure, I'm not going to laugh. Booger. Boom. She starts laughing. <laughs> and Gabby, you guys like say hello. Laughter. 
That is my way of saying hello. I know, right? <laughs> Booger. <laughs> um, but yeah, Gabby, it's been awesome to have you on the on the segment here. Thank you for sharing your story. I know we'll be in touch soon, so this bye is only for another, you know, five minutes, and then we'll talk again. Um, but I send all my best love all the way from Auckland, and I hope everything is going well. Thank you, Adri, so much. Thank you for having me, and thank you for the work that you're doing because it's super valuable, and I know it's going to benefit so many humans here. So thank you from all of us. <laughs> from I all appreciate humans. that. I appreciate and- that. Keep going, keep going. I love what you're doing. And yeah, we'll be in touch soon for sure. Okay. Thank we'll you so much soon. for having me. We'll speak soon, Gary. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye.